So digging down into why you want to use solvents, obviously there are advantages and disadvantages on the positive side here. The number one reason people generally want to use a solvent is because it helps molecules come in cont contact with each other. If you have two solids, it's often very difficult to get uh, you know, one molecule of, that of solid A to, to meet up with one molecule of solvent B so they can have a reaction. And even liquid-liquid reactions are pretty difficult too because if you form uh, solid products or if you have very high viscosity liquids, it just becomes difficult for them to interact. Uh, and then uh, same thing for uh, salts and, and so on. You, you generally need some sort of solvent to help um, loosen the, uh, the non-covalent bonds and, and get them to a state where they can react with each other. And then on the negative side, we talked about some of these in the beginning of the class. So uh, volatility uh, would kind of go hand in hand with toxicity because it increases your exposures. And then uh, product con contamination, where might that be an issue? So we're just talking about aspirin synthesis. Um, if, you want, if you're taking a bottle of aspirin and say it was made with 200 times as much solvent as it was aspirin, even if they've got that down to, I don't know, 50, 100 parts per million, most people don't want to be taking 100 parts per million of you know, any of these solvents with their, their pharmaceutical. So having residues of your solvent in a product can be a, a huge issue um, from a regulatory standpoint or just from uh, environmental impacts in general. Um, environmental pollution, so we talked a lot about the volatility, so that you can imagine this would come up in an actual manufacturing process if you've got something that, that boils at just a few degrees above room temperature. You could expect that on hot days or if you're generating heat in the plant, if, if everything is not completely perfectly sealed, you have to worry about emissions. Um, if things mix with water and you have any kind of water streams, then you have to worry about it starting to go out into uh, environmental waters.